Hey there, it's Mr. Larry, and I've got an all new episode of Mr. Larry SideQuest coming at you right now. Special thank you to Joanne and Sawgrass for sponsoring this episode as we explore what the heck sublimation is. I was maybe nervous to approach this machine at first. Maybe I wasn't nervous. I, was, I had concerns. Uh, because I'd, I'd never heard of this thing before. I mean, it uses a word that I'd never heard. Sublimation. 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 It's really not scary at all though. I ordinarily would have done an unboxing video for you all, but I really just had to get in there and figure out how it works before I lost my nerve. And I'm glad that I did because now that I know the way, I can share it with you. Just kidding, I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> On that note, I'm gonna show you just how easy it is to go from start to finish on a project using the Sawgrass SG500 sublimation printer. So sublimation works best on pol <laughs> sublimation works best on polyester and polyester surfaces, but you can still sublimate on cotton by using something like high temp vinyl as an intermediary. So I've designed a few graphics on my computer and I've just been experimenting with how to turn them into fabric that I can use here in my craft studio. And so far the results have been really cool. So, you know, I've had tens of people requesting merchandise. Well, sweetheart, get out your pocketbooks cause here we go. <laughs> Just a few button presses and I am cranking out my very own swatches of fabric that I can sew bags with. I've even printed out some of my paintings to see how they would look with this process and I'm really impressed by the clarity and the, the intensity of the color. I'm giving 20 bonus points to anybody who recognizes this company. I'll be in the comments where it came from. Maybe I'll make a quilt out of memes. My mom's birthday is coming up and I wanted to give her something that was extraordinarily special. <laughs> this is just scratching the plastic coated surface of what the sublimation printer can do. Let me know in the comments if you've ever sublimated something or if you've got ideas for projects that I should try because I'm running out of things to put my face on. <laughs> stay safe and stay crafty. Bye.